Hi all. For today's project, uh, what we're going to be doing is taking a front lip, which is the one that you see closest to the car, from a Porsche 991 and putting that onto my Carrera uh, 4S, which is the 997.2 generation. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank EMC2 or EMC Squared from Six Speed Online as well as Renlist. Uh, for coming up with this idea, it provides a, uh, a nice alternative for a sporty front lip. Uh, there aren't a lot of choices out there for those of us with 997.2s uh, for a front lip. Uh, and here I'm able to utilize a, uh, a newer Porsche part from the 991 front lip. It's only about $200 purchased uh, from a Porsche dealer and uh, with some slight modifications we're going to be able to put that on to uh, my 997. So first off, some items that you'll need uh, are obviously the 991 Sport Lip. You'll also uh, need some, uh, some means by which to fasten it to the new bumper. Uh, since we're not going to be utilizing the existing clips, uh, we're going to be using a different number of fasteners. So for one, um, these are the uh, what they call lath screws. I got them very short. These are uh, number eight by half inch lath screws. They have a nice big head, which gives you plenty of surface area. Uh, I'd also like to thank Hatzenbach from uh, Renlist. Uh, he came up with the idea to use the screws to fasten it. So I'm going to be doing a slightly different variety. If anybody comes up with any better ideas, by all means, please uh, contribute as we're always looking to learn uh, new ways to do things to our Porsches. Uh, the other item is uh, some double-sided tape. This is some very heavy-duty tape. I think this will come in handy, if nothing else, to help position the lip while I fasten it with the screws. Um, but in and of itself, this tape is, uh, as you can see, extremely strong. It'll hold up to 30 pounds. So this is an industrial strength type uh, mounting tape. I uh, got both of these items at Home Depot. Um, very re readily available items. The third is uh, item is uh, some PEX tubing. This is half inch PEX tubing. Uh, short uh, five foot lengths or so of it uh, is available in the home plumbing department at Home Depot. About $2 for that item. And you'll also need some cable ties. I'll get to where we're going to use these items shortly. So as you can see, the first thing I did was mark the center point of the front lip, uh, and I also marked the center point on the car itself. And what I did was I did a dry fit and mount, held up the front lip just to make sure that I saw um, the proper amount of reveal on the left as well as the right sides. Uh, so once you've done that, mark that with some blue painter's tape, and then you can just line up the lines later on when it's time for mounting. Uh, some things you'll new, need to do also, if you notice on the lip itself, it had some existing tabs on the 991 lip, and these tabs raise up a bit. So what you'll want to do is file those tabs, each of those tabs down, so you'll get a nice flush fit when you would I did mount it up to the spoiler. Uh, you can use a number of different things. You can use a file, you can use a belt sander, you can use a utility knife, anything to get the, these slightly raised tabs down flush the, the, so that uh, the lip will mount evenly. So I've gone ahead and filed down each of these uh, nubs to get them nice and flush. Uh, and then what I'm doing now is I'm using the mounting tape and on each of these tabs that I've filed down, since I've got some nice surface area, I'm taking the mounting tape and I am applying it onto the spoiler itself or the front lip itself and I'm just going to do it in each of these locations and repeat as I go around uh, the front lip. So what I've done right now is I have uh, positioned the lip just in the center so what I've done is uh, I've put on all the uh, double-sided tape onto the back side of the lip and then I have uh, lined it up to the center point and I have just pushed upwards in the middle so the sides still need to be uh, attached but right now this will hold it in position for me to uh, get everything lined up and then what I'll do is I'll start uh, fastening upwards uh, using the uh, the half inch screws and uh, place them around the perimeter under, underneath uh, to properly secure the front lip. 
So one tip I found that uh, is helpful is, uh, as you can see, I'm going around, but you, what you want to do from the top is be able to see when you are sitting flush uh, bef before you start en uh, mounting the screws from underneath. So it really is helpful to have two people for this job so that one can manipulate it up until it's flush. As you can see, there's plenty of flex in this. Uh, I haven't screwed it in yet before you mount the screws. But what I did find that is helpful to position it is, if you look underneath here, I've got a piece of duct tape right here. Uh, I just put a piece of duct tape underneath the bumper uh, so that from the top I can pull this in and out to the position that I want it so that it sits flush and then use the duct tape to just attach to the underside of the front bumper and now as you see I firmed it up so now I know that I'm in the proper position so that I can begin uh, fastening with screw and going around so I'll continue to repeat the process. So uh, here I'm trying to take some shots of the underside of how it is fastened. As you can see at each of the tab locations, what I've done is I've inserted one screw. Uh, the reason why the screws look black, I just uh, I had spray painted the screw heads. And then over at this large tab that you see on the side over here, apologize, it's very difficult for me to get uh, the camera under here. But at each of the tab locations, what you'll want to do is attach a screw. And uh, one thing you do need to no take note of, and once you get underneath the car, you get a nice bright light. You'll see within here, there's actually uh, the headlight washer hose runs along this edge over here. And if you look here closely, you'll actually be able to see it. So one thing that's nice to be able to do is... Um, these screws are very short first off, but they will poke through to the other side. But by being able to see the hose, you'll be able to get a good idea of where that tube is so that you won't uh, be able to damage it. Uh, you can angle the screw a little bit if you like, uh, slightly forward, being careful not to come forward uh, in an area where you'd be able to, it uh, would be visible through the bumper, obviously. But uh, this is how it's aff affixed from under underneath. Okay, so here is the finished product. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of a walk around so you can see what it looks like from uh, the top as well as the sides. Overall, I'm very pleased with how this uh, lip looks. Uh, I think for the cost uh, and the simplicity of the job, uh, you know, I really enjoy how it looks uh, versus uh, any of the other options that are out there. Certainly a lot more interesting than the, uh, the original lip that was on there. So uh, if you're ready to take this project on, I'm, I'm assuming you've got a little bit of MacGyver in you. So um, there are a number of ways to fix the, uh, the lip. One thing that I did change was uh, I decided not to use the double-sided tape after all. It was helpful for positioning the, the front lip, but what I found was is that the double-sided tape left a little bit of a gap. It had some thickness to it, uh, unless I ran it along the entire perimeter and it started to be kind of a kind of a problem as it started to stick in one area and then I pull it off and then it would have to reposition it so uh, I think it's helpful for getting that very first centerpiece on once you fix a screw what I did was I took a dental pick went in there and picked out the tape uh, once I attached a screw to both the left and right of it so it was helpful to position this the lip in the very beginning but at the end uh, I decided to just uh, abort the idea of using the double sided the tape uh, with the screws, it's very strong, uh, and again, once you attach that half-inch PEX tubing, I'm not going to get into that, it's fairly self-explanatory. When you look at the back of the lip, there is an L-shaped bracket that's designed to rest up against the, uh, the bumper on the inside, on the 991. 
on the when you're installing it on our particular car, which is the 997.2, there's really nothing for it to push up against. So uh, using that half inch PEX tubing, like what I have over here, uh, you can also, another thought was I have some tubing that was used for uh, for a sprinkler system or an irrigation system. Uh, looks also to be about half inch. Uh, and that's basically there to act as a shim uh, between the lip and that helps to, prov to keep the lip from flexing too much. I haven't installed it yet, but you'll see as there's a little bit of flex in there. Once we install that on the back, that'll add some rigidity to it. Again, there are a number of ways if you wanted to add some additional rigidity on the back side of this. Um, you can laminate something on there in the back to add some stiffness to the lip if you like. I, I think it's nice that it's flexible because it is an item that uh, we can expect to scrape as we as all of us Porsche owners uh, have to deal with on some of the steep driveways and speed bumps. So thanks for watching. If you like, please uh, give us a thumbs up.